Hi, I'm Josh, and this is a Science Classroom. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to solve a problem involving Avogadro's Law. Avogadro's Law describes the relationship between the volume and the amount of a gas when the temperature and pressure are held constant. Using words, Avogadro's Law can be described like this. If the amount of a gas increases, the volume of the gas will increase. Using an equation to be described like this. V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. Basically, this is showing the relationship between two sets of conditions. The before conditions are represented by the 1s, and then after some change occurs, the conditions are represented by the 2s. The Vs stand for the volume of the gas, and the N stands for the amount of the gas, and it's in units of moles. This equation has four variables, and for chemistry homework, you are usually going to be given three of the variables, and then you'll solve for the fourth unknown variable. Here's the kind of homework question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. 1.48 moles of oxygen gas fill a balloon to 23.2 liters. What would the new volume be if the amount of the gas increased to 2.10 moles? Assume the temperature and pressure were kept constant. Before I start to solve a question like this, I like to organize the information. I'll use red to highlight what the question is asking me to solve for. It says, what will the new volume be? I like to write in the symbol from the equation so I can keep track of everything. So V2, because this is going to be the volume when the conditions change. Next, I'm going to use green to highlight the given information. The starting conditions are given first. There are 1.48 moles of oxygen gas, that's N1, with an initial volume of 23.2 liters. I'll label that V1. Remember that the ones are the starting or the initial conditions. Then something changes. In this case, the amount of gas changes to 2.10 moles. So I'm gonna label that N2. Now I'm gonna write down the equation. V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. I need to do some rearranging because I wanna solve for the unknown, which is V2. I need to get rid of N2 on this side and get it to the other side. So I'll multiply this side by N2 to cancel it. Whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do the other side. So my equation will become V1 times N2 over N1 equals V2. Now I can plug in all the variables that I've already labeled. V1 is 23.2 liters, N2 is 2.10 moles, and N1 is 1.48 moles. I'll plug all of this into my calculator, 23.2 times 2.10, and then I'll divide that by 1.48. I'm going to round my answer to three digits because each of the given variables has three significant digits. And so my answer is 32.9, and the unit is liter because liter is the unit for volume. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. 